Tonight, Montgomery County Police trying to put together the pieces of a violent car crash that left a 71-year-old woman dead. Yeah, tragic story here. Homa Bash live for us in Tacoma Park. Homa, there are a lot of unanswered questions here. Yes, Sharon, Jim, there really are. The woman's family is not from this area, so they tell me they don't know what she was doing on this busy stretch of road, whether she was walking down here or she was waiting at this bus stop that is now completely destroyed. They do know, though, she did not deserve to die this way. The crash happened around 12 a.m. Monday, right off New Hampshire Avenue near Glenside Drive in Tacoma Park. Caution tape still surrounds the area. Investigators say a Nissan Pathfinder was heading south when it went off the road, slammed through a bus stop shelter, and landed in a wooded area. The driver stayed on scene, and when officers got there, they found 71-year-old Christina Thomas dead. Police tell Fox 5 they are still investigating exactly what happened. They don't know if Thomas was at the bus stop or elsewhere when she was hit, and and they also don't know why that driver left the road. There's actually been a bunch of crashes near New Hampshire, Carroll, that whole area. Peter Gray is the co-chair of Montgomery County Families for Safe Streets. He put up this sign where Thomas died, a reminder to everyone. He says they focus not just on driver, biker, and pedestrian behaviors, but on how our roads are engineered, with wider lanes and higher speed limits, allowing people to drive dangerously. You know, if somebody is hit by a car and they're going 40 miles an hour, it's pretty certain that they're going to get killed. So lowering the speed limit, even five miles an hour, is can be effective in saving people's lives. A recent study by the Governor's Highway Safety Association reveals this is the most dangerous time to be a pedestrian, with a 77% spike in pedestrian deaths over the last decade. A variety of factors play into it. Impaired driving, distracted driving, and sheer recklessness following the pandemic. We have this idea that we should be able to get to wherever we want to go as fast as possible and people are in a rush. Both those things combine to make a lot of dangerous situations happen. And back out here live, here is the sign that Peter put up. It says a pedestrian was killed here. He said in a few months, they will replace that with the plaque if that is something that Christina Thomas's family wants. Just to remind people, this is a spot where a life was lost. And a reminder to people, be cautious when you're behind the wheel. Jim, Sharon, 